Hello, and welcome to BitBytes, the video series that will take you on an exciting journey of mobile DevOps with BitRise. If you're new to the world of mobile CI/CD, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this BitBite, we'll be talking about the workflow editor in BitRise. If you're new to BitRise or just getting started, the workflow editor is a powerful tool that allows you to create and customize your own workflows. By using the workflow editor, you are actually making changes to your BitRise YAML. In fact, the workflow editor can be considered a visual representation of the YAML file. But what exactly is a workflow, you may ask? A workflow is a series of steps that are executed in a specific order to build, test, and deploy your app. And with the workflow editor, you can easily create your own customized workflows to fit your specific needs. So how do you get started with the workflow editor? It's simple. First, you'll need to open your app on BitRise and click the Edit Workflow button. From there, click the plus symbol to create the new workflow. You can either create a new workflow based on an existing one or start from scratch with an empty workflow. You'll see that every app you add to BitRise, two workflows are automatically created, the primary and deploy workflows. The primary workflow contains basic steps such as activating the SSH key, cloning your repo, and deploying build artifacts with the deploy to BitRise step. The deploy workflow is also automatically created if tests are configured in the app. It contains the same basic steps as the primary workflow, but also includes steps that build the project and produce the necessary artifacts for installing the app or deploying it online. For example, the deploy workflow for an iOS project will include the Xcode archive and export for iOS step, which archives an Xcode project, exports it into an IPA file, and allows for automatic code signing in BitRise without using Xcode. It also downloads the necessary provisioning profiles, runs the build, and other configuration options for various settings, including Xcode build, step output and export, caching, and debugging. Now, once you've named your workflow, you're ready to add steps. Adding steps to your workflow is easy. Simply click the plus button between two steps to insert a new one. Once you've added all the necessary steps, don't forget to click save at the top right corner. To remove steps that you don't need, click on the step and click the little trash bin symbol. Now, if you wanna rename a workflow, Click the Workflows dropdown and click Rename in the workflow name. Enter the new name and then click the check mark. Finally, to remove a workflow altogether, tap the ellipses button and simply select Delete Selected Workflow. Then reaffirm you want to delete it in the pop-up. And that's it. Now you know how to add, remove, and rename workflows, as well as add and remove steps inside these workflows. With the workflow editor, you now have the power to create custom workflows that fit your needs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and tune in to future episodes of BitBytes. We'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions for future topics, so please don't hesitate to reach out and join the community conversation at discuss.bitrise.io. Thanks again for watching and happy building.